Hey everyone, Jennifer here with uh, Puzzle Tumblers Presents. Um, I've had a request, um, actually I've had it several times on how I use my Silhouette Studio Business Edition to make templates like this for my cups. Now I do not work for Silhouette Studio. I don't get any kickback from them. My showing you this is just because I want to. Also, I do not have the Cricut program so I don't know how to do this in Cricut. I can only show you how to do it in the Silhouette Studio um, programs. Now Silhouette does have a free version and um, in all honesty I've only always had the business edition so what I'm about to show you I don't know if they offer it on the business edition i mean on the other edition the free edition um but if they do it's it's basically going to be the same thing um so we are going to do a template for the um the 20 ounce skinny this one right here i have is for the 24 straight but i'm going to show you how to do the 24 ounce skinny so that um i think it's a tumbler that a lot of people use so that um you will also have this template when it's all said and done. Okay, so the first thing I need to point out is that I have a blank screen right here. I have my screen set up for the red and the green. Um, I don't know how you have your setup. Just because it's a different color does not necessarily make this step any different. Um, the other thing is I have it set up for um, my 12 by 12, um, which is the media size that I have set over here in um, the silhouette. It's automatically set. Um, I'm going to first come over here to the left hand side and I'm going to make myself a rectangle. It does not matter what size your rectangle is. You just have to have it in order to do this. It does not matter what color it is. You can change it if you want. I am going to change it to black and I'm going to give it a, a three point line so that you can see it. So here is my rectangle. The next thing I'm going to do is I'm going to come over to the right hand side and just above the gear here that says uh, your preference panels um, is a little arrow. You need to click on the arrow and you're going to be given um, several different choices to make. A puzzle choice and a warping choice to warp lines. Um, I'm going to click on this one right here this one says open up warp panel. That is the first thing that you'll need to do in order to, um, to do your conical warp. The next thing I wanna do is make sure that my box is chosen and then I want to click on the cup. It's automatically set for the sizes. Um, that's just something that Silhouette had set up in advance. We want to click on this right here. It says conical warp selected shapes. So we're choosing the cup shape and I want to click the conical warp. And this is the first thing you're going to see. It's going to go across your screen um, with a template. I don't know what this template's for. We're about to change it to the 20 ounce skinny. Um, it is tapered. This is great for sublimation because uh, Puzzle Tumblers does offer the 20 ounce skinny um, in a sublimation cup. So we will change the, um, the width, the base width, and the height. Now these are three things that you have to have in order to do the uh, pattern on the conical warp. Um, so if you don't have the pattern that was put on, the, the, we had recently on the Puzzle Tumblers page, a, um, a post was placed on it by Jessica and she has measurements for the 20 skinny sublimation, the 20 skinny straight, the 30 skinny sublimation, and the 30 skinny straight. I'm going to use the sublimation measurements. So you will need your cut and you will need a measuring tape if you do not have these measurements in advance. You will need to measure the entire circumference of the top. I know that this is going to be nine point seven five I know that the base is going to be eight point seven five and I know that the height is going to be 
8.25. We'll press enter. And here's our warp right here. Now the thing that people do um, and they want to know why their cup isn't matching up, this right here is just the template. We need to make sure that this rectangle here is going to match up with our measurements up here as well. I have the measurements in here right now for the rectangle that I made ahead of time. We need to make sure that it's going to match the rectangle that you need for your skinny. So again, our width will go with the top. The highest, the biggest, the longest width is going to be at the top. And that was 9.75. And then our height is going to be 8.75. And then you press enter. Ha, I say that. I'm going to try it again. Our width is 9.75. Our height is 8.75. And click it. I don't know why this is not going in. 8.75. There it is. Um, I pressed enter and it put the uh, measurements in. Now here is your template. This is the template that you need to cut out any piece of vinyl to wrap around your 20 ounce skinny sublimation tapered cup. You're going to want to first save this. You'll go to your file, save as, and save to your hard drive. You want this to go onto your main screen or your desktop so that you can find it. Now this is where I put mine. Wherever you put yours is completely up to you. I'm going to type in the file name here. And I'm going to change um, my save type to a PNG. The reason I like the PNG is because it will save just your outline. It will save just your, um, your template. You'll press OK and it's going to ask you how you want it to save. Leave these alone. It's not going to make a difference um, on a lined template what your pixels are. This is basically if you want to do something on a um, printable piece of vinyl or uh, pictures or whatnot. Just leave this alone, but you do want to make sure that you have a transparent background and press save. Now this is saved to your computer as a PNG. If you do not change this to black, I will show you what happens. And if you don't change it so that the computer can see what's going on, it's going to look like this. This is the conical warp that I saved originally that had um, was done in red. I changed it to be black and to have the um, your points set at three up here, and it was able to detect it on my screen. So here's our next step. When you have your piece of vinyl on your cutting board, you're going to send it over to your cutter. You'll change whatever you need to change over here, whether it's going to be uh, printable vinyl or glittered vinyl, metallic vinyl. We're going to go with matte. I have mine already preset. And then you're going to send this directly to your cutter. It's going to cut out your, um, your template onto your vinyl and you should be able to apply this directly to your cup. Now, um, I haven't had any issues doing it this way. I think the only issues that I have is when I decide to make my own vinyl because I do not have a printer that will print a 9.75 wide. I mean, we can always turn it, but my printer only prints an eight and a half by um, an eight by eight and a half by 11 your standard print it'll only print that so i would have to print this twice and put them together but i'm going to show you very quickly for those who would like to know how to do this 
how to take this template and to cut out a piece of digital paper. So I'm going to open up my digital paper. What I choose has no rhyme nor reason. It's just digital paper I happen to have in my computer. It will probably be super huge because it always is. Oh, looky there, it's actually going to be the right size. Now I'm going to go into my template that we just made, right click, copy it, go back to the digital paper we want it on, and I'm going to paste it to the top of this paper. Now the way I do this next is the way I do it. I know there are tons of buttons on the top of the screen up here that you're able to use, um, but I'm going to show you the easiest and fastest way to do this. So if you have another way that you do it, then hey, great, do it that way. I'm showing you what I find to be fastest for me, is to hold the button down and to select everything. The next thing you're going to do is you're going to come over here to your modify panel. The modify panel is where you're going to remove parts of your um, digital paper. In fact, I'll show you, it's going to remove the center part and after you take it out, you're able to remove it this way. You can do it that way, but this is great for wanting to do um, wraps that will allow you to, um, to do fun designs behind, or if you wanna use this as a template, that's great as well. I don't wanna do that. I'm gonna go back to, the, to where I um, was originally. Um, you, go, you can intersect, you can weld them together, um, you can subtract parts of it, and you can divide parts of it. We're not doing that. We are going to crop it out. It's a mess with it. We're going to crop it out. Huh. I'm assuming that it's wanting me to subtract this. Normally you can crop it out. Okay. So here's your template. This is what you're going to put on your, um, your skinny sublimation tapered cup. Um, if you decide you want to print this out on printable paper and you have a big enough printer that will allow you to print this onto something, that's great. The best thing I can tell you to do is to turn it sideways so that it fits your eight and a half by 11. It is going to be a little wider because this is um, 8.75 and our width is going to be 9.75 and this is your template that you're going to put onto your cup. I hope that this makes sense. This is how I do it. I try to do everything as easily as I possibly can. I want to teach it to you in a way that will be easy for you to understand. Um, so we were able to make the template. We were able to show you how to cut the template out. And finally, we were able to show you how to um, crop the template onto a piece of digital paper. Depending on how the computer wants to do things um, on any given day, but you're going to be using your um, modified panel to do that. Now, I can do other tutorials on how I use the Silhouette program. Um, if you would like to do me to do that, please just let me know what it is that you would like to learn, and I will gladly go in and um, show you. There's so much this program to, can do. I will be Team Silhouette for forever because I switched over from um, another cutter company. I don't want to say because um, I don't have anything against it. I just find that I enjoyed the Silhouette Studio Business Edition more, and so I just wanted everything to match up. I will hopefully be doing more of these in the near future, and if you have anything you want to learn, let me know. Um, I hope you have a great day, and just be safe out there. Take care. Bye-bye.